guys it's been way too long since I've last made a video let alone do something a little bit different actually let me just sh okay so um, instead of my usual vlogs today we are going to take a look at my jewelry collection and this is just not very this is not random actually it's a little random because it's like I've been doing vlogs this on my channel like this whole entire time but this is not random because I've been thinking about it since forever long ago I've been wanting to make a jewelry collection video since I've been you know collecting them since like high school but I've never got around to doing it I don't know why maybe just can't find the best lighting but today we're gonna do it because I think the lighting looks really good and my mom and my grandma recently gave me like a ring and a bracelet for my for my graduation gift so I just wanted to be like okay I think it's the perfect time now so also because I've been collecting since um, since high school actually I've I actually have a lot of more jewelry than what I'll be sharing with you today like I'm not gonna be sharing all of them just because there's like way too much and I don't really love them as much like the ones that I like had before and it's gonna be way too long so I'm just gonna be showing you what I usually wear every day or what I love the most or what I've like like to reach out for maybe in the future we can go through the whole thing but today is a little like a, a little anato like a little sneak peek into my favorites and my everydays okay it's not organized i did not plan on doing this until like a few minutes ago but then you know what that's the best time to, like to be last minute just kidding okay it's okay okay um so i have my jewelry actually in this little box the square is not even centered yes I love it because it's easily accessible so I could just like change my jewelry really fast and go out I don't even change my jewelry as much anymore just because I'm in my gold phase like ever since I dyed my hair I've been in my gold phase and I am not mad at it okay maybe let's start see I'm getting a little excited guys okay um maybe let's start off with with what I have right on now so I haven't been changing this just because, you know, I dyed my hair recently and I found this to be like so pretty on me. This one is actually my mom's necklace and she didn't, I don't know, I think I just, I recently like got it from her like a month ago or something because I found it like I'd like to try on her jewelry and once I try it I'm like oh my gosh I like this and then I end up wearing it and then I never tell her until she sees it on me and then she's like nothing we don't say anything we like you know it's normal to like borrow each other's jewelry she borrows her mom's jewelry so I borrow my mom's jewelry anywho so this is a I think it's called not a snake is it a snake? Maybe it's a snake. A snake or an omega chain or what, but it's flat. And mm, very flat, but so it's like it's dainty. At the same time, it just makes a statement. Like, look at me right now. Like, can you tell? Yeah, it's it's not like a simple, like, it's a tiny, um, tiny minimalistic piece. You can say it's minimalistic because it has no pendant and it's just like, it's just like a, you know, gold. But it's, I say it makes a statement, just the way it is. And I don't wear it with any pendant. Like, I like how, if I wear a pendant, it's probably going to make it, like, go down. And I just love the shape of it. Like, I think it really suits my hair and suits my neckline. Anywho, moving on. So, yes, that is the first necklace. It's a 14K, maybe, Omega snake. I don't know but you know you you see it as it is okay and then what I have on now is the bracelet that my mom gave me for my grad gift so it's this really hold on focus on the bracelet not on my face okay it's this really 
it's gold guys see that's my thing right now I'm in my gold phase so for the people who like like simple minimalistic jewelry we are not matching tastes right now but yes the reason why it caught my eye is because of the diamonds I'm also in my diamond phase what am I not I'm always getting something with diamonds I, even like without the diamonds itself just just having this this kind of chain it's like a watch it's so it's so pretty honestly yeah so then i couldn't resist it and my mom was like do you want what do you want like do you want do you want to go on, go on a trip as your grad gift or do you want that and i said I really like that. I really, really, really want that bracelet. And I said, you know, it's okay. I will travel when I actually have money to, like, you know, buy around. Not just the going, not just, not just um, going on a trip, but also being able to afford, like, whatever I want on that trip. And so I said, okay, that the trip is saved for the future. Let's just get this bracelet right now, cause I am obsessed with it. Isn't it so okay okay? I'll let I'll let the bracelet talk for you. I'll let the bracelet talk. I won't let my passion talk. Very passionate about this bracelet. Can you see? Can you tell? Okay. Moving on. The next thing that I have is the ring that my grandma gave me. It's also for my grad gift. It's only guys, it's only March. And I graduate in May, so yeah, I asked for them really early. <laughs> but anywho, okay, uh, the the ring that she gave me is also yellow gold. My grandma's very traditional like that. She actually had it made this ring, so she had an older ring, and it's basically this band with like moissanite on it like a band of moissanite and she she had it made in the philippines so what the jeweler did was you know just took extra gold and got a diamond and put a diamond on top it's a very simple design gorgeous gorgeous design very simple but also makes a big statement that is that is the motto um simple but makes a statement okay see isn't it so pretty it's not like it's not dainty it's that is not my mood right now i'm in a very simple but statement mood you get me okay so right here i have this white gold tennis bracelet and this is um, simple but makes a statement again. Uh, it's so much it's so much smaller than this one actually. See? But this is like one of the things that I wanted since ever since and I splurged on it a few years ago and I still love it very much. I think it's three carats, like around three carats and it's just white gold and it's very simple so i usually wear this bracelet if i'm wearing like a white white gold um necklace or ring and i'm not in my white gold phase anymore i don't mind but yeah i used to wear this like almost every single day actually i wore it like every single day like when i slept when i showered everything and it's just really beautiful it's such a classic jewelry piece to have like you never it will never go out of style and I love it very much. The next thing that I have is this 14K yellow gold snake chain bracelet. Again, it is very, very simple, but not, yes, very simple. I don't know. Minimal to you? I don't know. I don't know your definition of minimal, but I think this is minimal. Uh, very gorgeous i don't really stack i wish i could stack but i feel like it's just it's just a little too much if i combine it with um this bracelet right now so i don't i leave it um by itself also 
the reason why I have like all of these things is because yes I love jewelry but every time I do buy them or like when I'm about to buy them my pet my grandma's just like yeah get it you, sh you should you should get it like it's good it's good it's good like it looks good on you so yeah I you know what I don't mind anyway like there's not a lot of things that I do spend on actually there's kind of a lot of things that I do spend on but you know what you know life is too short not to buy things or do things that make you happy I don't buy a lot of branded jewelry but when I when I wanted a diamond by the yard necklace I couldn't find any at that time except like actually branded um, branded jewelry and so it was a Black Friday at Macy's and I could not resist so I ended up getting this yellow gold Effie diamond by the yard necklace very dainty again it's so beautiful isn't it okay guys okay so this is my diamond by the yard mm, diamond by the yard necklace it is I think 18k or 14k I'm not too sure and it has one two three four five six seven seven diamonds absolutely gorgeous and one of the best purchases again no regrets with anything I think you know it's very important to especially at this age where you're you are you're blossoming and you look good and you look fresh and you look youthful and you look alive and you just look your best at this age and what what like why why wait till you're older to like feel good and dress good and just just like love dressing up yourself the next thing that I have is my Roberta coin yellow gold choker necklace when I first saw it I actually first saw it in Hawaii and I was at this boutique and you know like in Hawaii they have just their taxes are insane so then I ended up not getting it which I don't regret at all because I ended up like after a few months I was like you know what I keep thinking about it I really want to get it and so I bought it online for much cheaper this is my Roberto coin um, choker necklace it is 18k yellow gold and it just has a little diamond right in the center and like a few so it's like fully beaded all around but every now and then there will be like a larger bead in between them and it's just it's so gorgeous and it's so speaks volume shall I say so yes that is my other necklace I am in my choker phase as you can see the last few necklaces that you have been seeing is completely um completely just chokered okay so next I have this really dainty necklace it is also 18k yellow gold with a dancing diamond because it like it moves when you move so yeah I was I guess when I bought this I was just fresh out of high school so then I didn't want something too loud like I didn't think it matched me at all so this is one of like my first jewelry purchases I think I got it I actually got it at um, Vince at Micronesian Mall I still love it very much if I need something dainty or I'm wearing some like big um, earrings then I will wear this the next thing that I have is this very complicated and difficult just kidding and it's just having a little tantrum right now let me just fix her up the next thing that I have is this white gold citrine necklace so pretty very dainty very minimal very fresh look and it is yeah it actually comes with matching earrings necklace and earring set it is white gold with um dangling citrine beads or crystals mystical is the word and i usually wear it with like my very um bohemian or I was gonna say like flabby clothing but I'm bohemian and like flowy clothes so yes 
I am currently wearing these studs that my mom gave me. They were originally hers, but she recently got some like bigger, bigger carrots. These are very small actually. Uh, they're like, I don't know, 0.3 carrots. So it doesn't really like suit her suit her anymore she she likes to think so she gave them to me and they're perfect for my ears and they're perfect for everyday wear and they're perfect for all the jewelry that i wear with it so i don't change it these past two months and i just leave it on very minimal but i think it just suits me right now so well so yes these are the studs right here and yes very simple this is a time where when i was really into white gold and i was really into dangling earrings so my mom's face is like longer and my grandma you know being very traditional she is she doesn't really like like dangling earrings but i changed their mind when they saw these on me i always get I always get like compliments on them just because they're so unique too. I could not resist buying them just because it's so hard to find like Fleur de Lis um, earrings. So, right there. Simple but ooh la la vibes. Cameo. There you go. These are cameo earrings. I did not want them. I was like, Mom, I don't know if I really like them. But then she was like, go get them. Those are hard to find. So then, yeah, I bought it. I told you, my, my grandma and my mom has the biggest influence on me when it comes to my jewelry. And my mom said, make sure that the lady is facing you. I don't know why. She just said. And so that's what I do. And yes. I think these are really pretty. I like to wear them with um, when I wear turtlenecks. So I don't wear them all the time just because, you know, these are a statement, statement earring. And they're very bold from afar. You can still see them from afar. See? They're like pearls. It, uh, the next thing that I have, my mom gave me. And it's this white gold flower earrings there you go i don't really wear them every day i would wear them when i go to like a special occasion and i need something a little bigger and something that you could probably see at night so this is what i reach for if i need like a white gold white gold stud because i do not have like any big diamond studs at the moment but this is what i reach for and so my mom would always get mad at me too if like it's upside down. Yeah, it's really hard to find these earrings, so I could not resist and I ended up getting them. And I think it's just it's so pretty. Very simple, but it's just so unique. So yeah. So here's a little story. When I was a little, like when I was still in like middle school or whatnot, I went to Tiffany's, Tiffany and I saw these yellow diamonds. Like I didn't know yellow diamonds existed and I was just like so in love with it. And I said, when I get older, I'm going to buy the yellow diamonds. And I originally thought that only Tiffany sold them until I saw this at Macy's. Macy's is my best friend. So... Effie purchase they're not hella yellow but they're yellow and I got them on sale on Black Friday and yes so I, I made my yellow diamond dream come true on Black Friday they're yellow diamonds white gold I don't know if they're 18k or 14k The next white gold necklace that I do have is this is this cross pendant. Yeah. I have this 
really nice white gold 16 inch necklace with a cross pendant that's because I don't I don't buy any jewelry unless I totally love it like it's an investment to buy and so I told myself that if I'm gonna buy something I must truly love it and that's gotten me far <laughs> with just that tip. I also tell my mom that. I was like, Mama, do you really love it? You have to 100% love it. Anywho, this is that necklace. Never fails. Very simple, very minimalistic. So if I'm wearing like any white gold earrings, I'll pr most likely match it with this. I'll wear these hoops for now so I don't, so my ears don't look naked. Um, I actually don't have a lot of rings just because, like, I don't, I mean, I, sort of, I have enough rings, but I don't really wear them except this one recently because, uh, I currently still go to school and I do a lot of, like, lab work, whether that be, like, for my class or for work. So then I don't wear a lot of rings because I, like, I glove up and... I I just I do a lot of things with my hands while like being gloved up and it will just like pierce through or I, I'm too scared to lose it and yeah so I don't wear a lot of rings but I'll just show you the rings that I currently have I have this sapphire yellow gold with diamonds on its side it's just it's really pretty and yeah been trying to stack I've been learning how to stack so this is what I would do the first ring that I have is from Jerson it is this really pretty heart pretzel ring very simple very dainty he that's like his kind of style so that's why he got it for me and then Another ring that I got is when, um, I think, my 21st birthday, Gianna gave me this ring. And it's just, wow, I can't focus. It's just this ring. It has cubic zirconia wrapped all around it. And then I will stack it with this. I don't know. I think it's a tooth ring. The reason why I'm okay with stacking because it's very simple and dainty. So I'll just stack it like that. And yeah, so that is those rings. And also like if I'm on vacation, like when I went to Hawaii, I did not remove this from my jewelry box, but I loved wearing these. So it's this stack that I have here and Jerson got me this, this, the shell one, and then the one with my name, Nelly, and then this one I got in Baguio when I went to the Philippines. And it's just like, it's so pretty. Like, I loved wearing this every single day when I was in Hawaii, especially. It's just so cute. And I'll also, like, I like to add it with the, the tennis bracelet. It's just like a little extra extra fun yeah love this stack so pretty so cute and so fun which is the like the vibe that i like to go for sometimes with my outfit that's all that i have in my jewelry box at the moment it is what i currently wear like even like a few months ago maybe i don't wear it right now but i did wear it like a few months back and it's just like an everyday what I reach for, what I love currently, um, jewelry pieces. So yeah, I hope you enjoy watching this video. If you would like to, you know, see more of my collection, what I have like in my closet, um, I do have more. I just don't wear them every day. And maybe if I add more onto my collection, I could make another video. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed watching and yeah, see you in the next video.